Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. My name is Ariel. And if you guys have been watching my vlogs, y'all would know that I'm supposed to be in Cavite right now. But no, not today. Because today, I am in Manila. You know, I still have a lot of things na kailangan asikasuhin. Let's start the eating show. Or should I say, rant. Just a disclaimer. This isn't my first time having this meal. And I actually have a revelation, a confession. Not confession. confession. It's more of a revelation because I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I can definitely call myself a fan of BTS, but I don't call myself an army. Back then, I didn't know the history nila. Like I don't think I'd you know, pay actual cash to watch them perform live. But... Your girl can now officially call herself an army. So cheers to that. I'm an army. I am officially part of the fandom. And can we just talk about this sauce? Like this Cajun sauce. For real though. It's so good. Like kailangan mag sign na tayo ng petition na wag na nilang alisin to sa menu. And itong chili sauce. Spicier than I expected, which I love because y'all know that I love spice. Sinisisi ko talaga dyan yung isang member eh, si Jimin. Oh God, if not for Jimin, siguro hindi ako mahugulog dun sa rabbit hole na yun. Yes! The mud nuggets! Today, I just wanted to talk about a super serious issue that's been going on in the beautiful Pearl of the Orient country of the Philippines. Na talaga namang napakalaking issue on social media nowadays. Cajun sauce, which is so good. Aha! I am officially an army. Haters gonna hate. Potatoes gonna potate like this medium fry over here. Ito. Kita nyo yan? BTS by Kayo to, y'all just sitting there potating. So, para lang sa kaalaman ng lahat. Other than BTS, wala naman na akong ibang sinastan na K-pop groups. And I just wanna put it out there kasi feeling ko it's kind of pertinent to the story. <laughs> so, I was really surprised when I saw all over social media, all of the hate. Like, yeah, I get that you're not a fan. But, Hindi pa dapat hanggang don lang yon. Hindi pa dapat turdokan mo na don na. Okay, you're not a fan, so live your life, go on with your merry way or whatever. Pero hindi, eh, may, may, may continuation na. Sobrang hateful posts na hindi ko. I don't get it. I do not get it. Where is all the hate and the negativity coming from? Y'all, can someone please help me understand? Everyone's talking about how overpriced the meal is. And I'm not even here to talk about the math. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three quick maths. A lot of fans can't afford the most solid talaga na legit merch. Masisisi ba natin sila if this is the closest that they can get their hands on actual BTS merch? Come on. Can't we just let people live a little? Why is everything such a big deal? Yung mga nag-hate kasi ng sobra hanggang BTS bio. You know, I'm not even gonna say the word yung term na ginagamit nila. Let's just say BTS BTS Violet, okay? I don't know guys, I just find the word, the term so disgusting and I don't mean that in a way na kadiri yung mga tao na tinutukoy ng word na yun, but the usage, the way people use this term with the intention of degrading other people, it's such you guys, this is stressing me out. I'm not even here to defend BTS as a group. I'm more bothered by how people can just throw this word around without fully understanding. Or maybe they do. Actually, they're just such messed up human beings to even think that it's okay to use, to say this word as a derogatory remark. <sighs> Like, okay, the term violet means gay, right? Pero hindi lang siya basta gay eh. Hindi lang siya basta bakla, tomboy. Like, hindi ko naman sasabihin na, oh, 
my brother is a faggot. Diba? We say, oh, my brother's gay. Kasi kapag sinabi mong faggot, meron kang intention eh, and with full consciousness, minamaliit mo yung isang tao. So, you know, people might be thinking now, whenever they say BTS, Violet. Feeling nila, dinedegrade nila yung BTS, you know, as men. If there's anyone whom you're trying to insult, to me, it's more offensive for the gay community because let's say that they did turn out to be gay. So what? I don't think I see a problem with that. I mean, since when was being gay an insult? Okay, I get it. I understand. Yes, it's been used as an insult in society for ages, for centuries and decades. But it's just so messed up that just when I thought that finally, kahit pa paano na restore na yung faith ko in humanity, spreading love, parang biglang mangyayari to na just because of a McDonald's meal or just because of this K-pop group that's not necessarily manly in society standards like talk about toxic masculinity holy cow I cannot even begin to tell you guys how much I hate masculine tox tox <laughs> intelligent it's almost as if okay i don't mean this literally but like being gay is what we make it to be i know that sounds kind of stupid but hear me out walang problema sa pagiging gay but the moment that you see it in a negative light doon lang siya magiging negative pero kung walang mali siya at kung walang problema para sa iyo na maging gay ang isang tao then walang problema tandaan niyo you say this homophobic phrase because it's a reflection of you. Meron din naman talagang mga things sa mundo na hindi talaga natin magustuhan and sometimes we just hate something so much that we can't stand it. Can we can can we just hate in silence? Mind your business. Kailangan ba talagang magingay tayo sa social media on how much we hate this particular thing? Bibili ng BTS McDonald's meal. Pipicturean, pinapakita sa picture na pinupunet, kinakrumple, tinatapon sa basura, sinusunog, only to prove what? What are you trying to prove? Okay, I get the message. You hate, you despise BTS, but I hate pineapples on pizza. I don't go all over social media buying a whole box of Hawaiian pizza, taking a picture of it, murdering it with whatever weapon I have, just showing to everyone how much I hate. Hate Hawaiian pizza, guys. Why are you buying Hawaiian pizza? Because it's not worth your money, your time. I'm just so boggled. Why people would go the extra mile to try to convince everyone on this planet na why are you buying McNuggets meal? First of all, it's none of your business. I kind of just wanted to serve as one of the voices of gay people because honestly, they don't deserve this kind of treatment. Like, kagamitin yung sila as a reference for such a condescending term. Kagamitin yung against other people. And y'all are probably thinking, oh my god, she's a toxic army. Guys, I'm not even gonna deny. Meron talagang mga toxic na army. But that's the thing with haters, eh. Yung naasum nila na everyone, like literally every single person in the fandom, are toxic and are just shy. Hello, fangirls. Na sobrang buhay na nila yung BTS. Like, guys. It's just so sad na. I know people, like, I have literally Facebook friends who have also posted such hateful things on the internet. I think I unfriended about three people. Oh my god, she's a toxic army. And some haters watching this are probably gonna comment down below, BTS, Violet! Ano mo yun? Just to prove their point na they really hate BTS. I didn't unfriend them because of my love for BTS. I unfriended those people because I just couldn't take the amount of anger they have. Like, would you believe? Meron ako isang Facebook friend. So, nag-share siya ng post on his timeline, sa feed, whatever. And then, nag-caption siya. Hi, nako. Kung nasa Pilipinas lang talaga ako, ivavlog ko kung paano pumitin at itapon ang BTS meal packaging na yan.
as if na feel niya talaga yung fire, yung urge, yung desire na dumugil at masakin itong BTS na yan. Yung mga nagsispread ng ganyang hate are for sure 100% the ones who don't know crap about BTS. Like, siguro nakikita lang nila yung tip of the iceberg. Pero hindi ba kayo nagtataka, guys? Kung bakit there are people like me who aren't necessarily K-pop fans, but somehow BTS is an exception for them. If you're gonna tell me BTS Violet and you don't even have an idea on the message that they are spreading to our generation, what they stand for, basically don't know what they're all about, then maybe you might want to keep your opinion to yourself. Kasi can you imagine if one day sinabi ko na lang out of the blue na Grabe, walang kwenta talaga yung NBA. Like, why do even people pay to see their idols? Bakit sila kailangan bumili ng mga jersey ng favorite team nila? Like, it's so stupid. NBA Violet! And I, this clueless little girl, has no clue. Girl, you don't even play the sport, so just shut up, okay? Shut up. It doesn't have to be BTS. It doesn't have to be the McNuggets meal on anything, guys. Bago tayo mag negativity sa mundo. Sana po ay i-educate muna natin yung sarili natin. So, a little background. I was introduced to BTS because of my ate, my sister. Yun nga, since hindi naman talaga ako fan ng K-pop per se, it really took an open heart para maintindihan ko fully what they're all about. And I'll admit at first talaga, para I was kind of disinterested. She would always play their music videos, their perform their performances. So I go, yeah, oh yeah, they're good. They're really talented. They can sing very well. Amazing dancers. But that was about it. Kapag mas nakilala nyo na yung personality nila, yung character, yung humor, yung mga moments nila off stage, and alam mo yun, yung principles nila. Hanggat hindi nyo in-open yung heart para maintindihan, para kilalanin sila. You're gonna be stuck in that BTS Violet mindset of yours. <laughs> Yun nga, hush-hush na lang muna. Because that's how it's supposed to be naman talaga, di ba? Like, I thought we were all taught by our mothers, fathers, our parents. When you have nothing nice to say, so yeah, if you're a Facebook friend of mine and you're watching this video and you remember that you've posted something, then you might want to check if we're still friends because I've probably unfriended you already. I just can't. Not that it's a big deal. Hindi ko mo sinasabing kawalan ako. No, it's not that. But I just want to send a message to you guys na ganyan yung pag-iisip. You, you seriously need to check yourself. Kaming army, hindi namin ikinakul ito. Pero, sana gets nyo rin na hindi nyo rin po ikinakul na binabash nyo yung BTS, binabash nyo yung meal. Wala po sa atin ang cool kasi ang pagiging cool, that's completely subjective. Most especially for the gay, hindi nyo ikinaangat as straight people para gamitin nyo sila just to insult other people. It's honestly so messed up. One more thing, you guys. I see people posting on Instagram, kwaari magsa story sila na umorder sila ng BTS meal. And then they feel the need to put a disclaimer na not a fan. I just really wanted to try these mug nugget sauces because I'm curious as a fuck. Nagdi disclaimer sila ng ganon kasi ayon nilang ma i halintulad sa same category na crazy fangirl. It's not even a big deal. Like, come on. Let's just remember that the world is beautiful because it's diverse. We have different races, different cultures, genders, tastes, preferences. Ang daming magkakaiba, guys. So please, let's all be respectful. Just embrace yung differences natin. That way, we can live in a more peaceful, harmonious planet to live in. Oh my god, my face is oily. If this video applies to you, or if you agree with anything that I just said, don't forget to like this video, share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Peace!